A very warm welcome from Forby Let to the second instalment of the Scots Guards video diary. I am Simon Ramsey, the unit press officer. Um, the first instalment uh, saw the commanding officer talk about our deployment and our successful handover from the Royal Welsh. This instalment will be talking about uh, what we've been doing over the last three weeks and indeed we'll find out a little bit more from left flank uh, from 12th Platoon Commander James Scott Barrett. The situation here is very different from two weeks ago. The familiarisation patrols that were mentioned in the last update have now grown into routine framework patrols and ground domination. Platoons and multiples are now confident in their surroundings and are gathering a vast amount of knowledge and experience in the areas they operate in. Our Afghan partners have also had significant change. The Afghan National Army have finished up their operations over the last few weeks, with their final two outposts collapsing in our area, leading to the teardown of their headquarters co-located with us in Fob Ulad. The Afghan National Army surge has significantly improved the security situation in the once insurgent stronghold. This leaves the Afghan National Civil Order Police assuming overall command in the upper Breshka Valley. In response to the checkpoint closures, right flank have also been downsizing their footprint as they close two neighbouring checkpoints. Eight ISO containers, each the size of a single decker bus, were needed to transport the equipment and checkpoint infrastructure before both locations were returned to a brownfield site by the Royal Engineers. Left flank has been away for the best part of two weeks, conducting operations in their warrior armoured fighting vehicles. The vehicles have, by all accounts, stepped up to the challenge and provided a comfortable home for their time on the ground. However, fresh food, camp beds and showers were very much appreciated on their return to camp. We hear more from left flank with 12th platoon commander James Scott Barrett. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Jamie Scott Barrett, I'm platoon commander of 12th platoon left flank, based here in PB Durai. Uh, we just got back now from three weeks out on, uh, on a big operation, giving us a chance to put these warriors to the test. There are four of them in a platoon uh, and we've been putting them through their paces, over ditches, through streams, uh, and I can say that they've, they've risen to the challenge and the guys have enjoyed using them. They've allowed us to live in a bit of relative comfort, been able to pack a few home comforts in the back. Um, the BV, the boiling vessel, has been useful in cooking our rations, uh, allows us to sleep in safety at night, uh, reassurance of having that ring of steel around us. I'm going to pass you over to the guys now, give you a show around the warrior, and let them show you uh, how they've been living out on the ground. Hi, I'm John. I'm the driver of this wagon. I'll jump up and show you a few things. Every morning I check all the road rules for the oil levels, check the track tension, check all the nuts on the tracks that we do, make sure they're tight enough so the track doesn't come off. You right, I'm Kami. Um, usually go out on ops. I can range from like three days to three weeks sometimes. Uh, during the ops, this is where we sleep, down here. A lot of comfort, five star on the rocks. It's much better than the Hilton back in Dundee. Right, I'll show you in the back of the wagon now. We're uh, Woody, just going to show you the back. Alright, I'm Woody, to the back of the wagon. Up here is where we keep all our food. Inside this turret cage so it doesn't fall out when we're moving about. Underneath the seats we've got all our water, supplies and stuff like that. A nice little telly for a bit of Cory and EastEnders at night. <laughs> and then long cool, cool nights. Of the day too. Uh, also we've got a little bit of cooker inside. The back here to heat up our food. And here, pop your food in there, nice boil of water, good brew. In the cold nights. Let's go out from the back of the wagon. Alright lads, I'm Garman Hannigan. This is my warrior. This here is a 7.62 chain gun, which is also known as Toasty, because it's small and loud. Right, and then we've got where we logo down there. That's for good luck charms for when we're on ops as well. It's just a little light with the blue, red, blue around it as well. Other than that, could you get on my wagon so we can go back to doing operations in Afghanistan? Peace out. Hi, Juan, Taylor, Ewan. Uh, doing well. Uh, I'll see you on r now. Don't be spending all my money. <laughs> Hi Mum Dad, doing alright? It's good weather out here. Can you keep sending us boxes and socks please? I've run out. Thank you. Hi Mum. Hi Chloe. I'm doing fine. I'll see you on r now. Hi Dad. Hi sisters. Bro. Hey, doing well. Keep sending the parcels. Alright Mum. Molly Dorsey. I'll catch you in four days because I'm on r now. 
All right, Terry Princess, I love you. I'll see you soon. You all right, Mum, Dad, eh, mate? Keep the parcels coming. Cheers. Hi, Jeff and Lexi. Missing you loads. See you when I get home. Hi, girls. Hi, Maisie. Hi, Annie. Um, that is fine. Um, if you could get Nanny to pay the money to get me out of here, that would be good. Uh, please stop Nanny sending me those uh, bars of wheat cereal stuff. We can't get rid of them and the mice like them. Um, I will see you in about five or six days when I've got an R&R &R, and we'll go out and spend all the money that the bank haven't taken from me. Okay, love you lots, miss you tons. Okay, and I'll see you soon. I love you, bye-bye. Hi Haley, baby. Just to let you know I'm all right. I'm doing good and I'll see you in a couple of days. Love you, bye. Hi mum, hi Emily, my ma, Gay and uh, Vinny. I want to say thank you for all your prayers. I'm here. Uh, thanks very much for all the puzzles. Thanks very much for for the, for, for all the e blues being sent by you guys. We'll see you soon on R and R, which is next month. I'm looking forward, very looking forward for that. And hopefully we'll see each other. And uh, hopefully you'll be sending more puzzles towards this location so I can get some more some more morale from you guys. Thank you very much. Take care. That's it for this episode of the video diary. Uh, please tune in again in two weeks' time. Uh, please keep the letters and parcels coming. Uh, it provides great morale for the guys and it's wonderful to hear what the news is back in the UK. Uh, from us in Fort Boulette, goodbye.